here's my story of a psychopath named Frank Real defaming my name via jewelry. So, it all started when I got into the jewelry business. Now, I joined a Facebook group called Moto Gold Club. I was like, hmm, this, is cool. this looks kind of cool. Then I see they're selling everything up there, you know, that, that I like. I, I like jewelry. I like all these tennis chains. And I'm trying to sell a tennis chain. I just went to L.A., had a bunch of stuff made my first time ever getting into the jewelry business. Yeah. Kind of got ripped off there. Paid a lot compared to what it's worth, even though I had it made myself. Um, learned a lot from it, you know. Ended up losing like six grand on my first journey. Uh, I have one item left, this tennis chain. I sell this tennis chain, but not quite. This guy named Frank Real says, yeah, you ship it to me. You know, I'll, I'll look at it and then, you know, I'll send you the funds. It was like 1700 or 1600 Frank claims that the diamond specs are less than advertised and he says it's okay I know you're new to this but I just sold it for 1350 at a mall kiosk that my friend runs and I'll send you the money I make nothing off of this Frank probably made a lot off of that um but he can only send 500 through Zelle he sends me like 450 he then over the next month holds my money hostage like says I, I try and message him he'll like leave me on red for two days he then offs a chain to me to compensate for some of that money that he owes me because he probably spent it and the chain had like three knots in it that he didn't disclose I didn't care I would I just wanted to make some kind of money back awesome right so i end up you know probably getting like 1100 out of this chain that's really worth like 1800 and yeah i'm slightly autistic i'm but uh, i'm not trying to be like arrogant here i'm really good at networking and uh, so I, I start networking like how do i how do i get better prices now you know i find a good diamond dealer in india i found good connections in new york city and la and I start doing it, working with all of them to get better stuff. I start making some decent money. I think Frank's a friend because he helped me get the start, right? So I give him these connections. I give him some of my designs. Um, you know, he, he would only contact me to talk shit about me. Why, I don't know. But, like, he would literally be like, I get that you're young, but don't post this. It's so stupid when other people can see you're going to ruin your name foreshadowing am i right okay so he would only message to talk shit about me or someone else that's my friend that would help me that would actually help me and give me some money uh, for stuff that i've done i'd wholesale stuff to him like 20 percent, 30 percent on top stuff that i can get rid of stuff that he would custom order so that went on that went on i find a supplier in new york city for some small diamond cuban chains i sell one everything goes well I auctioned it um Frank said he specifically tells me you know I have a screenshot of it if you ever need me to set a reserve just let me know I was like okay I will do appreciate it man never never ever asked him to set a reserve he asked me to do it one time on an auction that went wrong for him he deleted it so there'd be no proof but pretty sure I have screenshots and uh you know, I, I only put that reserve down because it's what I was willing to pay. I was like, yeah, dude, I'll buy it for that much because it's a good deal. He was just like, oh, I'm going to keep it and I'll sell it somewhere else. He sold it the same way on the same group. How did no one catch on to that? I don't know, but he did. I kind of wanted the neck or the bracelet, to be honest. <laughs> then I auctioned this chain that I found the supplier of. You know with the specs the supplier said that it was you know and i looked over it i was like oh it's pretty decent you know, i can't see anything majorly wrong with it so he goes up and i did not ask him to do this bids three thousand no one bid it against him it went to him okay it goes to him that was november of some time november something november like 22nd 
uh, then he posted on his story. I advertised it as it was. Like, it was like 5.6 carat total weight, the actual carat total weight, the actual exact grams. I posted it was VSSI because that's what I was told. Even I was told it was G to H. I said it was H to I because I'm like, these look like H to I. He then wears it off and on for months. For a few months, he's like wearing it. He even showed me he received it and liked it. He's like, oh, it's nice, but a little too girly for me. Okay. So I'm going to sell it. He posted on his story, he's advertising it in the groups that he wants four grand for it. He's saying it's eight carat total weight and that it's all VS. And what is really funny to me is he probably has story archives, but he's gonna now delete the archives to prove that he didn't advertise that if he sees this video. Uh, Frank would consistently manipulate me and stuff like that throughout the time I talked to him. Last night is when I finally just put my foot down. I'm like, dude, just, I said off, you know, like, and now I am getting, I am reaping the negative repercussions that I had sowed by standing up for myself. He is now calling every major jeweler in the group to tell him that I scam, and so does my friend that's a pretty big jeweler uh, scam. The friend that he would literally just message me to talk shit about. And I would, I would make it a joke with my friend. I'd send him the screenshots, be like, yeah, F this guy, blah, blah, blah. And just so he would stop talking to me, like, leave me alone, dude. And it just got so degrading to the point where I needed to just put my foot down. And I had bought another chain from this supplier and sold it. You know, I auctioned it. It got like 4,400 bucks. I paid like 4,200, 4,300. So, you know, I'm making a little bit of money. He shipped me money. Um, and now, of course, He's like, oh, I see this chain. He goes, finds the auction. He's like, he's calling this dude today. It was like an hour ago. I end up getting a call from this dude. He's like, this dude's asking to help me report you to the admins. I don't want to. I'm not going to. I just kind of said whatever to get him off the phone. And, you know, I appreciated that. And I, I when I tell you I have $100 in my banking account right now, it's true. I sent him a screenshot. I'm like, dude, even if I wanted to pay you, not not the guy that called me the nice guy like it's understanding he's like i can tell you're not lying <laughs> like i can't pay you frank like i don't have the money like i don't know what to tell you. you've had it for two months and you can't sell it even even misadvertising a misadvertised quality and sorry i'm in my room right now yeah i just got out of school i've been dealing with this all day as I'm in class. I haven't I haven't ate since like last night because this has gotten to my nerves so badly. Like you can probably hear it in my voice. Like it's just ridiculous. And so yeah, that's that's what's been happening. So now he's contacting every jeweler that's kind of big in the club or the group and saying that I am a scammer along with my friend. And yeah. That's pretty much, I mean, you can tell my face is red. I'm really white, but my face is red still from this. Like, I, he's just kind of a psychopath. He would consistently tell me to set reserves, you know, on stuff like that. And tell me, hey, you need me to set a reserve, I'll do it. And he would do it without me asking. I never asked this weirdo to set a reserve for me. You know, I, it's just weird. In fact, I would even lie and said I paid more for stuff that I had just made so that he wouldn't make me wholesale it to him for what I made it for because I'm just working for free because he's that much of a manipulating psychopath. And people that have dealt with him in the past can probably tell you, like, this dude, this dude's got some mental issues. And, like, I have something called, like, Asperger's. He has something called narcissistic psychopathy <laughs> i mean i'm just being honest here but yeah i'm gonna put a link in the description to uh some of my favorite screenshots with him the dude the dude's insane he is pretty insane thank you for coming to my ted talk uh, frank if you're watching this what, what is wrong with you, dude? See, seek help. Like, dude, what is... What do you get? 
out of doing this to some college student. This isn't me playing like the oh, I'm innocent pity card. No, this is the like, dude, need, like even if I wanted to pay you back. Oh, by the way, you, you post on your story a few months ago. I would never sell this motorcycle. I love this motorcycle. All of a sudden you're asking me for, to return an item you bought two months ago that you've been okay with for two months claiming some bullshit after making tens of thousands of dollars off of my designs and my diamond dealers and stuff you've made way more off of this shit than me because you're a grown man and you're trying to do this full time and now all of a sudden when you need money back you're posting 10k for this beauty of your motorcycle you're, you're posting a slide up to ask who's been scamming me type shit dude Everyone that has half a brain can see how stupid you are. I, I would legitimately, like, and, and don't, the one story you posted in a, indirectly threatening me to break Mazal is, and you put a fire emoji, a grave emoji, and a bridge emoji. Like, you think I don't know what that shit means? Like, you've got issues, dude. Just, just quit your shit, man. It's, it's just cringy at this point.